Stan Gibalisco here to show you how a precision missile can work. Doubtless you've seen some videos uh, of these guided missiles striking their targets um, in the Gulf War. I'm, I'm sure you saw some if you watched any of those videos and uh, some of the other wars in which United States weaponry proves its superiority. And here is one way uh, that a guided missile can work. This aircraft right here fires a heat-seeking missile towards a target that's illuminated by an infrared laser beam. Infrared, of course, is also known as heat rays. And what this infrared, or uh, laser with wavelength slightly longer than those of red light, does is heat up a spot, a very small spot, a very precise spot, on a desired target, such as the Dark Lord's house, <laughs> or whatever. And, as if the Dark Lord would live above ground. Um, then the other aircraft fires the missile, which is a heat-seeking nose that finds that spot and strikes exactly where it is. And that's how you can get such exactitude with these missiles. It, it sure beats the heck out of saturation bombing a region where we not only waste a, a lot of uh, ammunition, but we cause a lot of collateral destruction and kill a lot of people unnecessarily. It's a little bit of a morbid topic, the whole thing, particularly since I think war is one of the most ridiculous and yet widespread arts, not only amongst humans, but amongst all species on this veil of tears we call Earth. We might call a missile like this, if this house has a chimney, we could literally fire that missile down the chimney. And if there's a fire in the chimney, we wouldn't even need to have the laser beam at all. We just fire the missile at the house. The missile goes down the fire uh, chimney. And voila! Latter-day Santa Claus. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next cheery little story, so long.